Warriors United! Back with an episode of Vega Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. Hope good guys are doing well today. Hope you guys are on your purpose. Hope you guys are filling God's purposes. This is a great Sunday uh, afternoon. Uh, I'm doing some work around the yard. I wanted to kind of take a break and uh, do a video. Saw a couple of interesting videos and got some interesting research I want to share with you guys uh, talking about the topic. We're going to talk about a topic that's very interesting, but let me do a couple of shout outs first while we're at this. Uh, let me see kind of where I'm at here with the shout outs. Uh, Eric, thank you, my friend. Kevin7292, thank you. God's Gladiators, thank you. James Winfield, keep striving, my friend. Confidence will keep growing. Uh, my uh, Stay Cow Moon, thank you, as usual. Uh, Sing Fly, new subscriber, uh, welcome to the channel. Mysteriously Kind, thank you. Lego King is cool, wonderful. John Jennings, thank you. Uh, Downey2000, uh, at this point is day 194. I hope it's uh, greater than, my friend. Keep going. Dirty Mint, uh, Dossy. Uh, Inner Tuition, Warpath, Buckness, and John the Dawn. Thank you guys so much for your shout outs. Uh, two more shout outs for the topic we have today. Our topic is dealing with uh, a Redline Eliminator. It sent something said, Is it worth it to go for it with a girl? I also want to go back a little bit on this one and talk about the fact that there was another type one that Action Pack Cooley sent. Uh, a question talking about types of women to pick from to procreate with. So we're going to combine those two and we'll talk about. The idea of types of women that you need to um, be with when it comes to human retention. So I guess I can title this one, Types of Women to Hang Around With Under Seam Retention. All right, so let's go back a little bit and kind of look at the whole idea of what we're talking about here. We're really talking about the idea of focusing on the, the idea of holding your energy in. Now, uh, some research I've shown, this is very interesting. I'm not sure I totally agree with all of it, but I'm going to kind of share it with you guys and kind of talk about it a little bit. So as you focus on the idea of retention, why is this important? Well, through the ages, and they talked about this in the old uh, Indian tribes back in the Roman days and, and Inca days and everything, when you hold your energy in, you're actually regenerating a lot of your brain and your body functions. And so you don't get as sick as often, you don't have as many illnesses, and you're able to keep that energy inside of you. And in fact, if you're not releasing, unless you're procreating, even if you're having intercourse with a young lady and you're still not releasing, they're talking about that as being the, the essential type of thing to bring both the man and the woman to higher superpower lengths. Very interesting, but obviously... There's a catch to the whole thing. I mean, obviously, you cannot be releasing once you are having intercourse. And that, we know, is not an easy thing. They had a couple of experiments called the Anita experiment. And I'm going to do a separate video on this. O-N-E-I-D-A, I think it's called. Where they had groups of people, and this was the United States. They had groups of people who uh, were able to have intercourse without uh, having release. And they, they found those individuals very healthy. They were able to have intercourse and not really release energy. Uh, then they had those people actually go ahead and release to procreate, and they were very successful as well. So it's indicating that indicating that what they're talking about here is that <clears throat> the reason we're in a society with a lot of gene degenerate thinking and our brain is fu functioning maybe at 10%, most of us, is because of the whole idea that as you're releasing you're losing your uh, your energy. You're losing your ability to think. And so now you're focusing on trying to just release, and now you're focusing on a lot of issues that are going on. The other thing they talked about in a couple of the researchers I saw was talking about an air flow in the brain because you're releasing so much, which is why the old myth is as you release more, the chances are you're having more problems with your mental facilities because of the idea that you're losing, your brain has become a degenerate because of all the releasing. Now, a lot of this stuff could be very true. Uh, it's a very interesting type conception, and I think that there's some truth, obviously, in the ideas we talk about. The benefits of semen retention is the fact that when people become reta retaining, they're going to gain their natural ability. I don't know if it's called benefits or just the fact that you're getting back to the normal self, but we have been in a society that we've been taught so many wrong things 
to kind of control the society and try to control people. And part of it is the fact that releasing all the time gives a person the ability to be controlled so they're not thinking clearly, they're foggy. And you know this when people, when you're releasing a lot, you become a lot more foggy, a lot more nervous, a lot more anxiety. And if you start retaining more, you'll see the benefits of calmness, of patience, and your brain will focus on memory, all those things. So there is a, there is a kernel of truth in there. Now, how, how much truth there is, that's a good question. I'm going to do a little bit more research as I find out more. But the bottom line really is here. If you're focusing on keeping your energy, only losing your energy when you're procreating. And they estimate you should be living between the years of 91 and 100, which was my goal originally anyway, to be able to do that if you're able to keep your energy. And I think it's really important to kind of focus on this. So as you're looking for the right type of women to hang out with, the right women to procreate with, or as Redline's asking, is it right to go after the girl? First of all, because of the way you are, because of warriors, the way you're maintaining yourself, because you're working out, you're, you're strengthening yourself, you're becoming a lot more, uh, you have a lot more vigor and vitality, you're going to draw women all the time. Women are still, even at my age of 63, or get close to it, I got about a month ago, you're still getting chuckles and nervousness and women telling you they're nervous around you because you have so much power in this retention. And I'm and I'm 63. You guys in your 20s and 30s, I, I admire you guys. I'm, I'm at the point where, you know, I envy you guys a little bit because you guys have all that power and energy. Now, I blew a lot of it away, not realizing any of the stuff we're talking about now. That was 30 some years ago. But Obviously, the in, the importance of a book like Kedler's Found in Youth is really important. Now, I know some people don't like all the other stuff around him, but I will tell you that this idea of the chakras and ideas fits along with a lot of the research I'm looking at when it talks to the fact about the, the sixth right. The other exercises are great, but the sixth one of holding your semen inside becomes really important because it regenerates your system. If you can transmute it through exercises, through things we're talking about, now you're able then to use that energy in a way in which you're you're helping your own body. And like I said, I have not been sick in many years. And a lot of it I attribute to the fountain of youth exercises and I attribute to the retention now over the last three years. I think I've hit over 1,300 days now. And the idea is you're trying to keep that that body intact. And so as these experiments show, as the ideas we're talking about shows, you really have to be able to have self-control. We're in a society that, however, is not encouraging that at all. It encourages the opposite. Go out and have sex as much as you want, uh, release as much as you want, and that shouldn't that, that really is being healthy. Well, in my mind, it's the opposite. This is why we've had, you know, people, a lot of people who get depressed, anxious. Um, you know, they're, they're having a lot more, you know, my mind, mental health issues, especially from the male side is because they're releasing too much. And, and, and you may agree with that. You may disagree with him, but the idea is that, you know, as well as I do, if you, you've had people keep doing this, you have more sexual defunctions at 20 some years old you've ever had in the world because people are releasing and why they're releasing, they're releasing for certain pleasure. That's all we're releasing for. Right? Unless you're doing it for procreation, that's a whole different type of thing. And if you're looking to have children, you know, uh, that's great. You know, uh, God be with you and I hope it works out for you. But the idea is, is that you should really think about whether or not you want to go with this girl. Is this the type of girl that's going to help you achieve your goals? Is it the kind of girl that's going to help you uh, keep you on purpose? Or is this the kind of girl that's going to draw attention away from you? It's going to kind of make her the son of the world. And all of a sudden, now your temptations, everything is falling differently. Remember, on a senior retention, you are in control. You're the person in control. Someone else is going to have to kind of see you and say, I want to be part of your world. You can also be part of their world, but you have your goals. You're a high-level male. You're supposed to be a person who's a leader. You're going to be a leader with this because there's very few people who understand this whole idea and this goes back, this actually goes beyond. Uh, you go back to the medieval times, the alchemists who focused on this. They focus on the fact that you're supposed to be keeping your energy inside of you. 
And like I said, I'm very fascinated by this topic because I think it's very interesting how the society has changed over the years when, in fact, we're not at the same level. You know, even back in the 1940s and 50s, you, had, you know, back in the 1840s and 50s, Edison and, and you had Einstein, all these people coming in. And there are brilliant people, you know, and I'll bet you when you look at their history, and I know in some of the cases, they, Tesla and these other people, you know that they did not release. You know that they, they, they understood the whole philosophy you're talking about here. And they understood it because they knew they had to keep their facilities within themselves. Why go ahead and release your energy for no reason but just to have simple pleasure? And it only lasts a, a second anyway. All of a sudden now you're feeling drained. And we know this just by the activity. So you may argue whether it's, a lot of this stuff is right or wrong with chakras and all that kind of stuff. And I'm, I'm presenting this information out to you. But I will say that you have to admit that if you're sitting there as a warrior and you're releasing all the time, you know how that affects you. And that's a fact. And that affected me like that, too. This is why I made the change and why I have been changing and why I've seen so many tremendous results over the last, especially the last three years. And I, that's why I go back to Kelder's ideas about trying to maintain your energy as long as you can. And there's no reason that you can't live successful superhuman life all the way until you're 100 years old. And you still can be able to procreate anytime you want to. Because you have that energy and that energy is rebuilding you as time goes on. And when it comes to women, the types of women you want to, want to be able to procreate with and the types of women that you want to be hanging out with, both as we talked about by Action um, Pat Cooley had mentioned the same thing with Redline Eliminators, um, is the idea that you want to find somebody who is going to help you do that. I wouldn't be doing that with anybody, but you're going to have to sit there because your temptation letter is high. The amount of women that are going to come after you because they sense this is astronomical. I'm 30 years married. Uh, you know, I have wife, kids, all that kind of stuff. And I'm telling you, the women do not care about that. They care about how they feel and they're very emotional uh, beings, which is great. In some cases, you know, we all have good and bad, right? I love women. I always have loved women. But the idea is that you cannot be falling for the temptation because they're going to be emotional. They're going to like you. They're going to be attracted to you. You fortunately have the call and you need to use this power wisely. Do not use it for any sort of negative or manipulation, things like that. But use it to be able to say, you know, I am going to do my thing. I know what I'm doing. I'm under God's rules, purposes, and I know what I need to do to become successful, happy, and at peace with myself. Now, if a woman wants to be part of that, and you find her someone that can add to your life, to add to these things, and to be able to bring you to some level of success, that's wonderful. Then I all by all means go for it. I still would not go ahead and uh, have any intercourse. It's just old-fashioned Vigor Warrior 2 talking here. You know, obviously, until you end up getting married. But that's, that's you know, a lot of people don't do that now. At the least, what you should be doing is having, if you're going to have intercourse with anybody, obviously don't want to release. Now, that's not easy. And this is why I'd say I'd stay away from it. Because the idea is that you want to stay away from, you know, anything, even monk mode. You want to want to use monk mode most of the time. Build a relationship, build a friendship. And if you do end up getting married, you end up having some kind of, and you want to have children, that's great. But the key is to this whole thing and talking about regenerate, regeneration and not degeneration is to keep your semen. This is the whole thing. You want to transmute it into your system so your body becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. And as a result of that, you can do a lot of things like exercise like I do and I've lost about 75 pounds and walking a lot and weightlifting and things like that. And those type of things happen because I have a great amount of energy because of the retention. And now as a result of that, I become, I feel stronger and stronger by the minute. And as a result of that, then you get confidence level and people end up, you know, your brain's functioning better, everything's functioning better. And all of a sudden now you're in a different type of part of your life. You're, you're, you're experiencing happiness. I, uh, I was not very happy, you know, many, many years ago until I started doing some of the Fountain of Youth stuff. And even with that, it took a while because I didn't really get the essence of what 
he was talking about until I decided to go ahead and take the chance and do uh, uh, right number six, which was the the seam retention right, to hold in your retention. So as we talk about this, you have to find people around you that support you. Obviously, the best course of action, obviously, is to kind of do your own thing, and you don't, you should not have to worry about being by yourself. However, there's times when you need companionship, and there's times that we need people around us. And like I said, women are wonderful. I've always said that. Uh, no, no disrespect for any women at all on this channel. I think the idea is that women look at things differently, and they are more of a, a nurturing relationship type of thing. And it's wonderful. We need those. But the thing is, you have to, as a male, be a leader in your own self, controlling yourself. Don't allow anybody to control you. And, in, be, and find that type of person that's going to help supplement you and not hurt you. If you got people in your life that are hurting you or taking energy away from you, then that's it's time to move on. Find some other situation and move on with that. So, But again, I, I, this interesting research on the Anita experiment and the things we're talking about more about moving past retention and actually getting a, a super level human type of individual intrigues me a lot. I think I'm going to actually do an actually an, a one on this by itself uh, later on down the line. But I wanted to kind of give you some information and I want to combine this with a couple of questions that we had from viewers and I hope you enjoyed it. So guys, have a wonderful Sunday and as I always do, leave you with two things. One it's uh, every day is a great day to a great warrior. I always keep messing this up, but that's okay. You guys know what I'm talking about. And number two, guys, always remember that the evil one is always around. The evil one's going to always provide temptation. Be grounded in Christ. And, and, and be grounded in your creator. Obviously, if it's Christ for me, but be grounded in your creator. Be grounded in God. Be grounded in the fact that you have that level of conquest ability. Dominion over people, dominion over everything around you, but use it wisely and avoid that temptation by keeping yourself grounded. And you do that by continuing to battle!